Welcome back to the channel, and as promised yesterday, that I would be going back to back every day for the next episode to get caught up on the Time Bandits review. Today we will be reviewing episode 7, Ice Age. Now, last... I want to say last week, but it was yesterday for me. The episode with Manza Musa was actually not the worst episode. It was probably the best episode in this series so far. It still doesn't say that it's a great show by a long shot, but it does say that that episode was a little bit better. Now we're going to be getting into episode seven. So come on and join me and we'll get right into it. And yes, as the title suggested, they are back in the Ice Age. The last time we saw his sister, she was also in the Ice Age. Are they going to meet up? I wanted to say Saber, but I don't see the tooth on it. So from the Ice Age ice wall, a piece of it breaks off and uh, covers the Time Bandit. The Neanderthals dig out Kevin and who shows up? Kevin's sister, Saffron, riding a woolly mammoth. Interesting. The sister has been with the Neanderthals for nearly three years. She has taught them reading, writing, speaking, and everything else imaginable, especially how 13-year-old children, teenagers, act. She even taught the Neanderthals to lull, and apparently everyone knows that Kevin is boring. We need Saf. She's a total legend in it. In it. Yeah, lol. Jesus Christ. Look, I, I don't mind as much that this is trying to be funny and shit like that. I just absolutely hate the entire YOLO lol. Like, yeah, sure, I'll text a lol, but I don't speak like that. And hearing it just sounds so bad. So because they want to take Saffron, his sister, along with them to save their parents, which she at this point still doesn't know about, because she was spending more time gloating that she's now older than Kevin and wiser and taller and all that. But uh, I guess there's going to be a challenge and because they won't from the chieftain because the chieftain is like, YOLO, we need her. She's a legend. Lol. And, and we're going to see how that turns out. So Kevin wanted to tell his sister about their parents and then no, hold on. Top dog is coming. The YOLO chair guy. So. It's really hard to understand 13 year old children nowadays. If that is how they talk. Like, holy hell. I mean, I guess you could have a, you know, I guess maybe it's because it's British on top of YOLO LOL in it. Mugging me off. Whatever the hell that means. Kevin finally tells Saffron about their parents and about the demon and... I guess, uh... Jesus Christ. Hold, hold, let me, let me gather my thoughts on this one. Saffron... Says something to the point like, we have to stop... Him. Meaning the demon. And Kevin is like, oh my god, she's a she, don't be so sexist. And, and now that I, I have sunglasses on, can you even tell that there's saffron in that picture? At this point in time, I would like to point out that I know near to nothing about the Ice Age, other than that supposedly they are supposed to be in England during the Ice Age, where Neanderthals haven't made it that far north yet. Recording? To official text but what do I know again I don't know anything about the Ice Age I don't know anything about their tribal workings about how they got along with each other stuff like that I have absolutely zero idea so that being said I don't actually believe I can get much of the historical talk about this show in this episode just wanted to point that out, let you know. 
Maybe next episode will be a bit easier. I don't, I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see. Well, at least they finally talked. They basically hugged it out like, hey, we won't give up. We're going to do this tomorrow. We're going to find that portal and rescue our parents. I guess that's not a bad message right there. Well, Bitalik is about to learn a harsh true story about survival. Since the beginning of this episode, he found this woolly rhino had broken a leg, wanted to take care of it, while the tribe members wanted to uh, cut it up and eat it. Now, at night, when it's cold and they don't have fur to keep warm, Bitalik is going to have to make a choice. Damn. Is this still a kid's show? Anyway, during the challenge, um, Penelope saw the eyes of death. And now she's going on about the eyes of death during her challenge and is returning. So, yeah, there's that. Well, it turns out Bitterly couldn't do it, but I guess cuddling with the huge animal would keep you warm too, huh? And with promises to return, the Time Bandits, Kevin, and Saffron leave to get to the next portal. That's kind of a short episode, really. Yes, indeed, this was more of a short episode and really nothing much I can add to it because I know absolutely nothing about the Ice Age. Definitely something that I could probably look into a little more, but the Ice Age is such a huge span of time. I wouldn't even know where to start. So if you know where I should start, let me know down in the comments below. And let me know what you think of this show. Anyways, it's that time again. Thank you all for stopping by. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the review. Let me know, you know, if I did good. If you did, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. You know, whatever floats your boat. And hey, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications if you do. Because that is the only way that YouTube knows that you are actually interested in seeing these videos. Anyway, thank you for stopping by, and until next time, take care.